Yo, what's going on? This is the big time Joker ASMR, old man. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hmm. So, yeah, stretch. Today's video is going to be brought by to you. They're not sponsoring me. Little Caesars. <clears throat> want to say thank you and welcome to all my new subscribers and if you're just passing through please subscribe to my channel got much more videos to come um <laughs> sorry that my last video got cut off so short I accidentally hit the stop instead of pause. Hey, it's a work in progress. So, how you guys been doing? If you woke up this morning, you know you're blessed, right? All right. So, uh, I'm hoping all my people out there are doing good. You know, I hope they're having a blessed one. Um, didn't get the tooth fixed yet. Balling on a budget. I know when it comes to something like that, money shouldn't matter, but it does in my case. Um, but anyways enough about me well I don't know I guess this channel is about me right now <clears throat> and what I'm eating and bringing to you guys I hope these sounds come out good and I got a extra most bestest too and for you guys that are at home watching me, there should be some left over for you guys. Even though you're always talking about, I'm tired of eating pizza, I'm tired of eating pizza. Hey, bro, we can only eat what we can afford, right? Especially when everybody's putting this um, COVID, this extra COVID taxes on us. Got an extra most bestest. Mm. I don't know. Now see, this little Caesar's here. For one, you don't know. I live in James Brown, whole town. James Brown. Ha! Get that. Mm, mm, you know. I live in Georgia. Like Ray Charles was saying. Y'all know who Ray Charles was is, you know. Georgia. Georgia. He done a lot better than I did. But that's where I'm from. So I'm over here in the Aiken side, South Carolina area. And their little Caesar's Pizza, man, outdoing ours. Which we got a lot of young folk, you know, working at these restaurants. And every damn time you go over there, to be like, yeah, yeah, um, yo, y'all got this, y'all got that. Nah, we ain't got that yet. We ain't gonna have nothing until about 15, 20 minutes. Y'all ain't even busy. Y'all ain't even had nobody here. Not all young people like that. You know what I'm saying? But majority of the time, if you got a management, the management is a lot of young youth. I mean, they be playing, be on their phone and everything. They don't even be doing their job. And you working 
and you paying your using your hard earned money to fill your stomach up around lunchtime or whatever, which is almost three o'clock where I'm at. <clears throat> You know, you're going to want what you see. I'm not on advertisement. And I ain't never been one of those people that'll call the main office and be like, look, you need to make an adjustment to your restaurant. Any of my hard-working people out here or my people that got laid off spending their hard-earned money on going to go get some food for you or your family. And they be talking about they ain't got none. What do you mean you ain't got none? Y'all feel where I'm coming from? Hit that like button. Comment down below. So. But, um. I was going to get the munch thing. You know what I mean? But it was cheesy bread in it. I should have just got the Italian cheesy bread and the stuffed crazy bread. I like the stuffed crazy bread. That's pretty good. Y'all see me looking in the back. I got a, a thin piece of sheet metal in the back of my truck. And uh, it's going up and down. Hopefully it won't fall out. I got my um, cooler sitting on top of it. But uh, yeah, man. Most bestest. Most bestest pizza. Little Caesars or whatever. You ain't never had it. You in the States. Go try it. About the best bang for your buck. Depending on where you go to get it. <laughs> but that's about usually how it goes. When you first get a restaurant around your neighborhood. And it just now opened up. That thing be banging. That be popping. Service is just... Boom, they getting it. Top notch. And then after a while. And just go downhill. So. I don't know. I used to, um, my first job, like franchise job, was a <clears throat> Bojangles. Mm hmm. If you got any tenders, if you got anything like that, a sausage biscuit, sausage link, Bowberry biscuits. Dirty rice. I was whipping it up for you guys. I liked it there. But I was young. I wasn't getting paid that much. I did extra things after work that got me involved in doing stuff I wasn't supposed to do to make extra money, you feel me? And, um, I was in a relationship with a beautiful girl and she called me the night before work and I came and rescued her. Needless to say, when it was time to wake up and go to work I was like 
man, fuck that job. I'm sorry, I'm just saying. Um, now we are happily married. Bling. So, I got two healthy, beautiful, strong boys. And a healthy, strong, beautiful nephew that lives with me. Kind of touched me a little bit. We had a talk on some things the other day. And I said, you know what I mean? I had to lay it down. I was like, you know what I'm saying? I am not your friend. I'm your father. And I turned and looked at him. I'm like, I'm not. I would never be able to be your father. But I'm somewhat of a father to you. And your uncle. And he looked at me. He's like, no. Um, I consider you as my dad. And. And I was on some real talk, you know. And, and it just. It made me feel a type of way. Because I know. I'm not the easiest man to get along with. If you're a teenager. Especially living with me because I'm going to ride your ass. I'm going to make sure you do your chores. I want to make sure that everything's done right. I want to make sure you take care of these damn $200 Jordans or, uh, you know what I'm saying, and all this all this money I'm putting into your special equipment that you have to have, you know what I'm saying, to make you feel a type of way. So if we're going to be going all out of our way to do that, I need you to man up. But... I don't have no problems with that man. You know what I'm saying? When he first moved in, you know, we had some disagreements. And it was just some things that he had to learn. And there were some things that I had to learn. You know what I mean? And now everything's all good. He's very respectful. All my kids are respectful. And they know that I have anger issues and stuff like that, you know. So it's freaking awesome. that we're able to work together and necessitate the situations and make sure that things get done like they're supposed to. You know? We still work on it every once in a while. But ain't nobody perfect. I come home in the afternoons and have to pick up my plate or my cup that, you know, I used the night before. I'm sorry, y'all. My eyes are itchy. My eyeball itch anyway. But yeah. You know, and then for all you new ones out there that are taking in, you know, specifically a, a teenager, and they're not yours, but you're taking them in and raising them, and, you know, they're a teenager. They got their own way of dealing with things and all that and you know unfortunately my oldest nephew got robbed from his good childhood from you know having both parents and you know stuff like that I mean hell I wish I could I wish I had the patience the money and the room to have all of them to help my mother out. But you can only do what you can do, you know? I have, is, it, is it a lot harder? No. It's not harder. It's just a little different. Um, financially wise, yeah, it, it's a little bit more, but it's not bad because I do get assistance with my mother. You know, she gets assistance, and then she'll go and she go grocery shopping. She'll go get stuff that you know, extra stuff, not just for him, but you know, for all the guys. You know, and, and including this kid. You know what I'm saying? So. It's not hard. It's different, you know, a little bit different. 
And you know, the young man has been through a lot. You know. And he lost his father. His father was a good friend of mine. You know, just like. Um, I don't really cut slack on him too much. But I think he's learned to change himself because he's got more of an open opportunity than what he had at my mother's. Um, for instance, like, I'm sorry, y'all, my stretch is bothering me a little bit more than usual. For one, he's got his own bedroom, you know. When he was at my mom's, he stayed in his room, played his video game, you know, had his own TV or whatever, or had a share of TV or I don't know, but he had real bad anger issues. He didn't want to do right in school, you know, but that's what that look like right there, y'all. I want that little out right now. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But now, <clears throat> got his own bedroom. Got his own TV. Got another console. I mean, he would get so mad, he'd go into a rage. He, like, broke his controller. Broke his Xbox. Broke the TV. I know a lot of y'all be like, oh, hell. And I was, I was, you know, I was like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? If I'm going to go all out of my way and do this, yeah. Bet he won't. Bet he won't get nothing else. He's going to have to earn it. And he did. He moved in. We had a little speed bump in the road. We apologized to each other. And it's like I told him, you know, I love him to death. And, um, boy started going to school, started doing stuff right, still having a little bit of trouble in school, so I took him out of that school, put him in my, uh, my oldest one's school, He's doing a lot better than that. Maybe got in trouble for something simple like, you know, having a cell phone out. I mean, I was a teenager, I was doing much worse. But, you know, it's just about like another chapter of my life for y'all. I like sometimes you like to hear the stories and stuff. You like to get to know people that you don't know. Now, I know a lot of people out there that really don't do these videos get insecure about putting yourself out there for the whole world to know. Hell, I'll see it like this right here. If you can make friends and just be friends, you know what I'm saying? If you single and you hooking up and, and being friend, hey, more power to you. But... I don't know, it's just something to talk about, you know what I mean? I'm on the road all day. I get bored. And I'm like, you know, a lot of the, a lot of a lot of my viewers, a lot of my people, they don't live where I'm at. And I don't know, do y'all feel like there's some things that obviously we know there's some things that you just shouldn't talk about but I believe the subjects that I get on just everyday real life you know because some people can see you doing these videos 
having top notch, you know, videos and microphones and eating good food. I mean, to me, what kind of impression is that going to give me? I'm like, hell, that person wealthy. They got it like that. They ain't struggling. You know what I mean? But you never know unless that person come out and be like, yeah. I just want you guys to know my life ain't as perfect as it as you may think it is. Or uh, some people be like, how can you be so enthusiastic, you know? How can you be so energetic in your video? I'd rather be a happy cut up type of person but laid back at the same time because it, it'll help people you know help people that ain't having such a good day or something you know so that's why I do my videos that's why I talk about what I talk about it's not that I'm depending on this about, ooh, 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 look at me, look at me, look at me. I need attention. Oh, I need attention. No, I don't need attention. Attention ain't that hard to get. I can go out here and walk across the street and bust a window in somebody's car at a red light. Be stupid like, you know what I'm saying? So it's not that I need attention or anything like that. I'm not trying to be flirtatious with anybody. You know what I'm saying? I'm just... No, I mean, let's be honest. You start making these videos and you start making these vlogs. I ain't gonna lie. I know it, it takes a lot of views, a lot of vlogs, a lot of hard work in these videos in order to make money. And that's why I do these videos, because I thought about another hustle. I mean, is my channel making money? No. Will it make money? I don't know. That's up to the people. If they love my content. They like hearing about it. Some people like listening and watching these videos, and, and it makes them feel good that they know that they're not going through some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? We all going through some shit. Especially what's going on right now. And all my subscribers, I subscribe back to, I ain't gonna lie, I wake up every morning and I scroll through my videos, well, my, my channels that I subscribe to to see who made a video and watch them. And, if I, and, and I got certain videos, if y'all go in there and y'all see my playlist, y'all know Choose is mine. Luke's starting to do a lot better with his sounds. I can like hear stuff. I start getting tingles. <clears throat> You know what I'm saying? So, there's a lot of things that I can collaborate with, you know what I mean, on, on people's subjects. So, hopefully, maybe this right here might be one of y'all's. You know what I mean? Me and Luke, I, I don't even know this man that good, but I know I'm good enough now, and I know he's a good man from, from what I can see and what I do. He don't talk about his business or something like that. Me and him, we talk, you know, on message and stuff. And he was telling me that, you know, he got the boys and his daughter and all. And I was like, hell yeah. So he, he knows the deal. He knows what's up. You know what I'm saying? He knows how things can be. And then when I see him on videos and I see him get upset like the one he got upset on earlier. You know, about somebody want to talk some smack. But, man, they don't know. You know, if you don't understand the lingo, you don't understand the language or nothing like that. You know what I mean? It's, it's best to stay in your lane and observe. And eventually it'll come out. And then you gain your respect from that person because you be like, oh, shit. It for that person. That they was like, oh, you always yelling at your kids. That's going to mess them up. And then they would just stop to listen and watch the videos for him to explain what he was saying when he says what he says. You were like, oh, shit. Damn. I feel like an asshole now because I'm about to tell that man, he, you know, he don't need me. But, and he didn't have to come out and say nothing. He, he could have just been like, yo. But he respectfully come out and said what he had to say. And then he threw some verbal words in there to let him know. You know, if you don't know, 
don't run your mouth. And it had to be on some real shit for that big man to say, well, I tell you what, come on down to Miami. Come on down to Miami. I don't think you want to do that. I don't think you want to do that. But I just wanted to make a quick little video. It ain't really that quick, 25 minutes and rolling. Just let you know what's up in here that was, you know, kind of needed to get thrown out. You know what I'm saying? Give y'all some inspiration of, you know, y'all ain't got it hard. There's other people out there that's got it hard. And if you're doing good, hey, that's fucking awesome. I wish many more blessings for you. I wish blessings for everyone. I wish the best for everyone. Because at these times, man, we need all we can get. But you know how I say it, though, you know? If you woke up this morning, you're blessed. And you're worth it 100%. Nothing but love and straight positive vibes for all my people out there. Luke, I really appreciate it, my big homie, whenever you post my videos. And I promise you, I promise you, my dog, and all my other people out there, as soon as I get enough subscribers to be able to post on the page and post the videos because the only thing I'm doing is I'm doing everything off my phone right now and they tell me I gotta have like a thousand subscribers and I'm not saying that so so my channel will boost up so I can start making that money I'm using y'all no I'm just I'm being real I want to show the love back because y'all deserve it y'all spending y'all's money <clears throat> y'all taking y'all time out to, during the day to make videos like this right here and for the ones that make the content, we already know what the deal is. You know what I'm saying? So, I ain't got nothing but much love for you guys. And I hope y'all have a blessed one. Don't worry about me. I'm doing good. I'm cruising on this back road. Heading back to the hizzy. Y'all have a blessed one. Until next time. Peace.